Hi guys, welcome to my second follow-up on the Android 12 Beta 2. Okay, this is the latest beta and I'm literally using the final shines from the sun on my balcony to really make this video. So thumbs up if you like things like this. If not, anyway, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. This will be deeply appreciated. So, first thing first, I'm here into the quick setting menu and as you can see my brightness is at maximum. You can also see the brightness icon is here displayed like this. When you scroll down, right, and you manually move up or down, slide up and down the brightness icon, it will really change. You see, so from almost like a shallow icon to going half full, let me just try to go half full, you see, to going really to the full extent. That's something very small, but still it's a nice touch, a nice visuals. Another thing I have discovered now is the new widget animation with third-party widgets, like in this case I have Spotify open. Let me now show you, I can play the sound, I can also stop the sound, see what happens when I click it, right? I can go to Spotify, now when I go back, the animation will go back to the widget and not to the application itself. And I can show you also I have Spotify here, now I'm opening Spotify, right? playing the sound, stopping it. Now when I minimize it, you see, the animation will go back to my applications, but when I open it from the widget, it will go back to the widget. So again, it's nothing fancy, but it's there. Something else I discovered, there is now autoplay in the recess menu. Let me open my YouTube account, and by the way, watch my latest video, it's called Hire Me on Fever. So yeah, if you want my work in video editing, you can go on Fiverr or Fever and really request my services. But see here guys, I will play the video for you, I'm gonna go to recent sub and you see the video continues to play inside. Now see, I'm gonna go from YouTube to Spotify and I'm gonna play a Spotify song, alright, see? Now I'm gonna go back to YouTube, see here. You notice something? This is the new sound effects mixture. Now I'm gonna play my YouTube video, I'm gonna go back to Spotify so that you can experience this sound mixture or like fading in, fading out into one source to other. Let me just play the video. Okay, doesn't really work from YouTube. But if you go from a sound to YouTube, so you see it's more, if you go from Spotify to show to YouTube, then you're gonna get this very nice sound mixture. Also something else very important, this new auto feature now works in games too. So let me just open my Crossy Road game, right? I'm gonna show that I'm able to move my character, right? And if I go into the recent menu, you see the game will continue. But yeah, you're not really able to do anything else. Same with the videos. You know, if I play my video from YouTube and I'm going to the recent menu, I'm not going to able to control it anymore. But it's very good and it does work, right? Of course, now we have the new theming. So see here all the colors according to what I can see. If you have problems with getting the right image from the new material you click here the settings wheel, scroll down to system, go inside gestures, all right? Then scroll back here to the system navigation and then go from gesture navigation to two button navigation, then one more time to the gesture navigation and then voila, your new theming is gonna get applied. Now don't ask me why, that's probably a bug, but that's one of the other things we have learned from the latest Android 12 Beta 2. Google Camera also has been updated to version 8.2.4 and if you have a more recent pixel, probably like a 4 and something above, if you go here to settings and if you go to advanced, you are gonna be able to enable the new night time astro photography time lapse. Now, of course, sadly in my case, I have the tray, so it's not really working. But guys, those are the things we keep discovering them. One of the best things I do like about this new beta is really here, like the new indicators, and of course, also the new privacy dashboard. You're gonna see plenty of things that were not there before. You can see which of the applications you used your location exactly at which point of the day and time, and it's really perfect. For more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video. We'll catch up in one of my next episodes. VST over and bye.